Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to The Sip, your daily sip of just the right tea. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this video, this reading, this message finds you well. If you're new, hello. It is so wonderful to see you, meet you, and greet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? All right, y'all. General energy reading for your day. This is a collective reading. There are no signs associated with this, so this can resonate for anyone and everyone, but also keep in mind that it may not resonate for everyone, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading, so keep in mind that whenever you're guided to watch and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? If you feel so inclined, then please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If this reading brings you clarity, a sense of happiness, or just tickles your fancy, Go ahead and smash the like button for me, yeah? Doing that helps get more of these readings out there to those who may need them and those who may need to see them, yes? All right, guys, I'm going to give this two more shuffles, and we're going to get into what the energy is for today's daily reading for today's sip of tea, yeah? Last shuffle. Here we go. All right, what's going on with the collective? What message do we have for the collective at this time, please, spirit? going on with the collective at this time well that's enough okay leave it right there all right overall energy we do have judgment okay start you off with a wake-up call i'm hearing all right you have the king of cups here the magician and one last card the king of pentacles whoa all right A wake-up call, Spirit is saying. Um, I feel like somebody is going from the King of Pentacles to the King of Cups energy. Because the King of Cups did come out, uh, the King of Cups and the Magician came out face up. The King of Pentacles came out face down. And it was actually the first card to come out here. But it came out face down. And actually, it was a little difficult for it to come out of the deck. What I'm feeling is going on here is um, someone is going from a King of Pentacles mentality to a King of Cups mentality. And uh, this doesn't have to be anybody specific. This could be a man in your life. Uh, it could be a masculine individual in your life. It could be you, even if you're more on the feminine side. Okay? But this is all about... Um, the masculine here or the king of pentacles element here is representing taking action in some way. That is what masculine energy represents or resonates with. And it feels like here someone is going from doing what is what would be necessary to make a bunch of money or to, to gain a certain level of stability. It feels like someone is going from doing what is necessary to what is right. And in some cases, what is right is what is necessary. All right, that's fine. But the feeling that I'm getting from this King of Cups energy is like there is there is an energy here of somebody not focusing so much on the material realm and instead going for what it is they know in their heart is the right thing to do. Someone is going from a materialistic mindset in terms of just doing things for the money, for the finances, for the stability, and instead is following a heart's calling, or I want to say a soul mission. And when I say a soul mission, I don't mean like one singular thing. I mean like a soul's calling here, because you do have judgment. You have a wake-up call. Um, in some cases, this feels like a change of heart. In most cases, it, it feels like it's a change of heart. In some situations, it's more drastic than in others. Uh, what I am picking up on specifically for somebody here is that someone was literally uh, very rooted in some form of expression or some form of way of moving forward, how they conduct themselves, maybe how they conduct their business. And now there is a shift into instead of being very rigid and rooted in some certain way of thinking, some way of identifying King of Pentacles, 
now someone is adjusting their mission or is adjusting their way pro their their process or their way forward in terms of what is more in alignment with the collective or what it is their the universe or their soul is calling them to do or calling them to act how it is they're calling them being called to act regardless as to what the physical circumstances may be and in terms of this king of cups energy here it feels like you're no longer or this person is no longer focused on um the physical representation of things I feel like whomever whomever this is for, you have entered into this energy of, I know what I'm being called to do, and I'm going to do it because I know it is right for whatever reason, okay? Doesn't matter the specifics. It's right because that's the calling. That's the calling the universe is putting out there, judgment. That's what the universe, that's what your higher self or this person's higher self is calling for. So it doesn't really matter what the physical re-situation is. As long as I follow my heart here, King of Cups, my physical reality will be taken care of. This feels like someone who has evolved from a sense of three-dimensional thinking to a higher level awareness, higher heart or heart level thinking, universal thinking, possibly being of service in some way. Okay, uh, I want to look at what's next for this situation, and um, and then I want to start clarifying a bit, yeah? So, what's next in this situation, please, Spirit? Three more cards here. What's next in this situation? The Queen of Cups now. Look at that. Okay, two more cards, please, Spirit. What's next in this situation? The Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, one last card. Well, two last cards here. All right. Uh, the King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Overall energy is the world, but also judgment still wants to be seen. Okay, so we have the world as the overall energy. And then the way that the deck looked, the way that the deck flipped open in my hand, judgment still wants to be seen here. All right. And that is a successive energy or succession, right? You go from judgment to... Judgment is card number 20. The world is card number 21. The world is the final card in the major arcana. Okay. This feels like some sort of service type mission. There is something here about a level of learning to love oneself unconditional love because you have the ace of cups in reverse here right and then you also have this queen of cups energy this feels like it's a mission for empaths out there so uh, maybe there are certain empathic individuals that are being called to mission at this time or this is you as an empath who is already in some line of work here that is called being called to a higher level of your mission. I just heard you're giving up the falsities, which would be represented by the King of Pentacles because the physical reality is, a, is an illusion, literally. Like even though, yes, this is a solid desk in front of me, this is all still an illusion, okay? The real truth of existence is spirit. If it weren't for spirit, there would be no physical desk in front of me right now okay so it feels like someone is giving up some sort of illusionary properties in terms of giving more towards the heart-based endeavors and being some sort of healer okay because i'm getting with the queen of cups energy this is the empathy this is the compassion to heal to help heal individuals who can't seem to, feel, to find that self-love, who can't seem to love themselves, who seem to be disconnected from a sense of love or sources connection, okay? And that's all in terms of being objective, being able to see clearly where things are not reciprocal. A King of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Wow. So yeah, this is a call to mission. Or a call to a deeper level or a higher sense of your mission here. Okay. Let's start clarifying some things. 
look at this, you guys. Judgment wanted to come out again. At the bottom of this side of the deck is the Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. At the bottom of this side of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. I want to leave Judgment here, all right? Because this is a really big calling. This is a really big calling, okay? For, for some people or for some individuals here, this is, a, this is a calling that you just cannot refuse. It is so loud and so clear that you cannot escape it. Some of you may have been actively trying to escape it for a long time, or somebody here may have been actively trying to escape it for a long time. And either this double judgment energy is you can't escape it any longer, or it is the fact that you have come to a sense, a level of awareness in which you understand why you're being called to this. This double judgment energy is kind of feeling like, on some levels, truth and acceptance of this calling. Okay. Two more shuffles and then we'll start to clarify. The first thing I want to clarify, though, is why judgment is here twice. All right. So why is judgment here twice, please, spirit? What do you want to say about this? There's the magician again. The tower. Whoa! There is something really unique that you as an individual can create and bring into the collective that can really help bring some structures down that need to go. Last card here is the three of wands. Overall, shut up. Overall energy is the world again. You can't, you gotta be kidding me, you guys. All right, look at all of this double confirmation. You are being called to help end a collective cycle. And here's the thing about it. This definitely feels like individuals that have been on their sense of mission work for some time now, okay? You either have enough momentum going for you, or what I really wanna say is you have enough experience underneath your belt to really focus on what the collective truly needs and catering yourself to a certain extent. This is not about completely giving up of your giving of yourself or losing yourself here. There is still a level of there is still a sense of individuality here, but it's that 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 it's that exact that same individuality that makes you so perfect for this job you're being called to. There is something very unique about you. There is a unique gift that you have there is enough momentum, or really what I want to say with this Three of Wands energy, there is enough experience under your belt for you to really begin to manifest or create or bring something into existence that can really bring some serious towers down, that can really end or help to facilitate the end of certain what I just heard is toxic cycles. You have double double the world here. The world is here twice. Judgment is here twice. Okay? Okay. I want to clarify next. I want to clarify the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups for the collective, please, Spirit. What is this King of Cups energy? First card we have is the Two of Cups. Okay. Clarify the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Okay, two of cups, nine of cups. The two of cups here is absolutely representing the bond, the union within yourself, the union of masculine and feminine energies within yourself that are working together, that are working in tandem. Obviously, you have the king and the queen of cups right here. Okay, you have a sense of or a level of self-contentment, self Awareness and happiness that is going to help you or is putting you in a prime energy for this to happen. You have enough of a deep, I'm hearing you have a deep level or a deep sense of self-security, personal security, that makes it easy for you to let go of this desire for some sort of physical representation, King of Pentacles. So now you can follow through with what the universe is guiding you to follow through with, even though you don't know 
where it's going to lead you, how it's going to manifest, what it's going to provide to you, but you still know that you, are, you will be provided for and taken care of, okay? Okay. With that, you have the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Wands. So, there are memories. There is past energy here that you can address or help to address for people. Okay? Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Three of Swords. This is all about healing the past for people. Helping. You're not, you're, not, you're not actively healing it for them. You're helping them to heal. Six of Wands. Victory. Overcoming the past circumstances. Overcoming past heartbreak and pain. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. With your compassionate movement forward through your heart chakra energy or your heart-centered awareness. All right? Beautiful, guys. That's really, really beautiful. Next, however, I want to talk about this King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please, Spirit, for the collective. Clarify the King of Pentacles. What the King of Pentacles represent here? <laughs> the Queen of Cups just flashed herself, okay, but she went back into the deck. All right, so with the Queen of... I'm sorry, not the Queen of Pentacles. Did I say the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Cups flashed, but she went back into the deck. So first of all, you are of a empathic enough awareness to leave this king of pentacles energy behind all right but what is this the lovers and the ten of wands overall energy is the two of pentacles wow I feel like I want to clarify this a little bit more. Clarify a little bit more, please, Spirit. The King of Pentacles energy here. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Anything else for the King of Pentacles here? No. That's it. All right. And now we have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, this is a choice. This is definitely a choice here. And I feel like this choice has been made. The Lovers, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. You made a choice for yourself or you're making a choice for yourself to release the burdens of some sort of physical reality, some sort of physical awareness. I feel like you're releasing the burdens of doing things just to make money or just to have some sort of physical representation, physical reality. I feel like what you understand at this point, well... First of all, that King of Pentacles energy, whatever that King of Pentacles represents for you, that reality that the King of Pentacles represents for you, it's not fulfilling. I feel like you were chasing money or chasing status or chasing some sort of physical representation and you're finding or you have found out that that is not fulfilling to you. What would be more fulfilling is going where your heart is leading you to go, going where the divine or the universe is calling for you to go. So you're literally choosing to leave this King of Pentacles energy behind because it's burdensome. I love that. That's really beautiful, you guys. Okay. The last thing I want to clarify here is the Magician. Clarify the Magician. Oops, sorry guys. Keep hitting the camera there. Clarify the Magician for the Collective, please, Spirit. What are we manifesting? What are we creating here? Clarify the magician. Okay. Ten of Swords. There's the Queen of Cups again. And the Page of Wands. What you are manifesting here, what we are manifesting here. Okay. What you're manifesting here, what you're helping to manifest here, is the end to really painful situations through the effects of healing. Whatever it is you do, however it is you bring that mode of healing to the collective, that is what you're, that is what you're manifesting here. And that is really, really beautiful, you guys. It's really helpful, says Source. Page of Wands is the overall energy. You're helping people to recreate themselves. You're helping people to redefine themselves. You're helping people get a new start in their lives. I lied to you. That's not the actual last thing I want to clarify. What I really want to clarify, the last thing I want to clarify here is the King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. 
Anything for the King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Nine of Pentacles, individuality, self-sovereignty, self-sufficiency, Queen of Swords. Whoa. Whoa. Overall energy is the Two of Wands. All right, well, this is where it gets real serious, you guys. This is where it gets, like, real, like, down to earth, okay? Forget the compassionate energy. Well, not forget the compassionate energy because it's the compassionate energy that's helping you heal or helping you help these people to heal. But when it comes to the, six of, the, the King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, what you are bringing to people, what you could be, what you will be bringing to people, King of Swords, Six of Pentacles, is a very clear and objective point of view as to what is, what is reciprocal and not in people's lives. And that is clarified by the Queen of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. Discernment, okay? But also, no bullshit. You are a sovereign being, Nine of Pentacles. And if this, if whatever it is that you are dealing with here, now this is what you would be saying. This is the perspective you could be bringing to people. Uh, whatever it is that's not reciprocal in your life, honey, you don't need it. Queen of Swords, you can just cut that shit right out right here, right now. Why? Because you are an independent and sovereign being. You don't have to deal with those fools anymore. You don't have to deal with that boo shit from the past anymore. Cut that shit out and be the sovereign, independent individual that you truly are. That is the perspective you are bringing or could be bringing to people here. Bam! That is fucking awesome. That is really fucking awesome, you guys. Okay. I love this for you. We're going to close this out. Uh, yeah, okay, that's what I saw. Okay. We're going to go with the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Yeah? All right, cool. Cool, man, cool. Although, it isn't necessary. Ooh, it isn't necessary. You're right. All right, here we go. Closing Oracle guidance for today's sip, please, spirit. Oh, or overall energy there is the two of wands. Giving people the right or the opportunity to make a decision for themselves. Hell, motive. Hell, to motherfucking, yeah. All right. One last shuffle here. Closing oracle guidance for the collective. Please excuse the lawnmower in the background. Hopefully that's not creating too much of a distraction. But here we go. Closing oracle guidance for the collective. Please, spirit. For today's sip of tea, yeah? There we go. Yes. Excellent. Card number 36, which does boil down to a nine. Three and six make nine. Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cooperite. Relief and repair. That is exactly, exactly, literally what we are talking about here. All right. Card number 36. All right, here we go. Relief and repair. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our, warm and our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched, mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in the future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nurturing grace. Nourishing, excuse me, nourishing grace. That's all that Queen of Cups, King of Cups energy, isn't it? Excellent. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed this sip of tea for your day. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and if you haven't done so already. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below, which lists the readings that I offer, their descriptions, and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will get you all hooked up. 
Follow us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links to that can be found in the description box below as well. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next sip of tea tomorrow. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Bye.